Good morning, you guys. So I just took my kids to school, dropped them off at school. And last night on Facebook Marketplace, I just happened to be on there um, answering some messages, some questions people were sending me about shoes I was selling. And I saw on there that someone local, a girl that lives uh, somewhat in my area, was selling some Vans shoes. She had seven pairs. She said she would do 15 each or she would give a deal if you bought all of them. So I messaged her right away and I told her I wanted all seven pairs. However, um, by the time I messaged her, she said that two of them had already been claimed. So she only had five pairs left. Um, but I, I told her I would take them. I asked her how much. She told me $60, which would bring the buy cost from $15 a pair down to $12 a pair, which I was totally fine with. I would pay that price at a thrift store for these vans. Um, so yeah, this morning after I dropped my kids off at school, I met up with her at a Starbucks just um, down the road from my house and I bought five pairs of Vans. They need a little bit of cleaning, but overall they're still in great condition. Um, very clean. I was actually surprised in her picture, she just had one picture of all the shoes in just one big photo. So it was kind of hard to you know, see all of them, but I could tell by the insoles because the, the writing on the insoles was not worn off that they looked like they were in good condition. So these are all going to be a women's size seven. I just thought I would show them to you guys real quick since I'm still in my car. Um, this is the first pair here. I have sold this pair before. The last time I had this shoe though, they were brand new. But yeah, I'm just gonna take a little rubbing alcohol, maybe a magic eraser or a cloth and wipe that down. Vans are super, this part of the, the rubber is super easy to clean. As long as the upper like canvas is in good condition, I will pick them up because the canvas is a little harder to clean, but the rubber, super easy. Next pair, we have some old schools in red. She said she only wore these like once or twice to an Angels baseball game. Then we have some Comfy Kush. I love the Comfy Kush sneakers. They're more like lightweight. And these ones are just kind of like a, kind of like a purpley gray color. So that's that pair. Then we have these purple and gray suede. I think these are either the Authentics or the Eras. I always get those two styles confused. And the last pair in here is just a pair of old school black floral pattern, really good condition. So $12 a piece for those, not a bad deal. I did not have to go out and hunt for them in the thrift store. I just happened to see them on Facebook Marketplace. It took, you know, 10 minutes to meet up with her this morning. Um, I also did not have to pay tax, so it was just an even $12 a pair. And usually I sell my used vans like this anywhere from $30 to $45, depending on the style. So I should be able to get at least $30 a pair, if not a little more. So really happy about that pickup. Um, I'm not sure what else I'm gonna do for the day. I may go thrifting. If I do, I will take you guys along with me. Maybe we'll go hunt for some more shoes and stuff to sell online. So stay tuned. All right guys, so as you can see, I did decide to go thrifting today. I went to this Goodwill. This particular location is actually about a 15 to 20 minute drive from where I live. And I have not been to this location in a while, but something was telling me to go to this store today. And I'm so happy I did. I cannot wait to show you guys what I found. So when I first walked in, I noticed this new rack of clothing out on the floor that you guys can see right there. I don't know how long it was sitting there before I got to it, but I went immediately to that and I found so many awesome designer items. I rarely find like high-end designer, um, but so many on this one rack. I cannot wait to show you guys. I'm gonna give you a little peek, sneak peek here, but uh, I will do a haul at the end of this video so you guys can see the pieces better. So stay tuned for that. I also wanted to show you guys this fake Gucci dress. This was absolutely 100% fake. The stitching was terrible. The fabric was nothing special, but still, you know, a cute piece. I did not pick this up because, you know, you're not allowed to sell fake items and I wouldn't want to sell anything that is not authentic, but I still thought I would just go ahead and show you guys. 
Also, here's a good example of Goodwill will sell anything, anything and everything. If you're looking for a doll head in a glass jar, this Goodwill happens to have one for a low cost of $5.99. Okay, so now a sneak peek of some of the good stuff that I did pick up. This is a Pretty Poisons um, faux leather jacket by the TV show Riverdale, if you guys have ever seen that. I watched the show, I absolutely loved it, so I had to grab this. I think this jacket was also either 25% off or half off this day, and it is in great condition. Super cute. And then here is a little sneak peek at some of the designer brands I picked up. I'll show you guys them better in the haul and talk about them. But first time finding St. Laurent. This is a pair of black skinny jeans. This was actually the first item I found on the rack. And then this next piece, this is not designer, but it was also on that same rack, the new, the new clothes that had just come out. Um, this is a free people dress, but Honestly, you guys, this is one of the prettiest free people dresses I have ever found. I cannot wait to show you guys this a little bit better. I didn't, I didn't do a good job showing it here, but I'll show it to you guys better in the haul. Here's a sneak peek of possibly my best find, my most exciting find, but I'm going to show you guys that later. I'm going to put that to the side. Next up, we have this Kenzo Paris graphic t-shirt. I think this is the evil eye on this shirt, but Kenzo is another high-end designer brand. I will be looking up comps uh, or comparable solds on all of these pieces, and we will go over um, how much I think each one of these can sell for when I do the haul portion of this video. This is Acne Studios, again, another designer brand. I rarely find these brands, you guys, so this is super exciting for me. you guys so I just had one of the best like designer thrift hauls I've had maybe ever um, they rolled a new rack out on the floor when I was in this Goodwill and I went through it I found one designer piece and then I just kept going and I kept finding more and more designer pieces there's one piece in particular that I'm really excited about I need to make sure it's authentic but the fact that there was a bunch of designer pieces all on this one rack makes me really have high hopes for this piece. But I just got to another thrift store. I'm going to go into, um, this thrift store is called an Angel View thrift store. I don't know, um, I think they may just be like Southern California area. I'm not too sure, but um, there's a couple of them around in my area. So I have about, uh, I have a little over an hour before I have to go pick my kids up from school So I'm gonna head in here first see if I can find any more stuff and then at the end of this video stick around because I have some really Really cool pieces to show you guys that I'm really excited about so definitely stay tuned All right guys, so this is the outside of the second thrift store that I went to I did not get any footage I kind of found myself rushing and this thrift store does not have carts So you have to carry everything which makes it hard to film but I will show you guys what I did pick up at the end of this video. I also had to run back to my apartment after picking up my kids to get my shipping done. So I just wanted to add in a little clip of me doing my shipping and taking my packages to the post office. I also have my little buddy here riding along with me. He's my little hangout buddy, he hangs out with me all day long. Um, and he loves to go for these quick little rides to the post office. All right guys, so I did not get any footage in that second thrift store. I was kind of in a rush to get through things um, just because I needed to go pick up my kids from school and I knew I needed to take my shipping today. So I didn't get any footage, but I will do a haul here shortly and show you guys everything I got from both stores. I'm just taking a break real quick. I had to run my packages to the post office. Come here, what are you crying for? He's all excited. Um, got my little buddy here. So he likes to go for car rides, but he barks at everything so he gets all excited um but yeah so i am going to run my packages inside real quick and then when we get back home we will do the haul 
All right, guys, so I am back. It is actually a different day. I did not uh, have time to film when I got home that day. I just got too busy doing other things. But I have everything I purchased that day sitting right here. I have a pile in front of me and then this bag here. So as you guys probably saw, I did go to a second thrift store. I went to an Angel View thrift store in my area. So I'm going to show you guys all of that stuff first um, since I didn't get any footage in there. And then we will get into the good stuff. I will show you some of the designer stuff that I found at the first thrift store along with a few other things that I picked up. I'm also going to put comps or comparable solds up on the screen of all of these items. A lot of them I haven't really done a deep dive into comps yet, so it'll kind of, um, I'll just add them in as I'm editing this video. But for the designer items, I went ahead and I looked all of those up already, so I'll be able to give you guys a little bit more information about each of those pieces. So definitely stay tuned for that. This was probably one of my biggest designer hauls that I've ever had. I don't think I've ever found as many designer pieces in one thrift store. I have found, you know, designer pieces before, but it's usually just one, maybe two pieces here and there. But um, yeah, I think I just got one person's donation that just happened to come out on a new rack and just really excited to see how these pieces do. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and talk numbers real quick just before I show you guys everything. I have both of my receipts here. So I did go to the Goodwill and then I went to the Angel View thrift store. The first store at the Goodwill, I spent a total of $102.38. And then at the Angel View, I spent a total of $108.63. So in total for the day, I spent a total of $211 and one penny. Um, I bought 22 items total, which brought my average buy cost to about $9.59 each. Let's go ahead and get into the stuff from Angel View, where I did not get any uh, footage in this store. I was just in a hurry. I didn't have a lot of time. Um, but one of the first things I found was this really cute orange plaid Dooney and Burke crossbody bag. I think this one is an older, like, vintage bag. It does have the little duck charm. But I thought this plaid was really fun for like Halloween and just for the fall time. I think it's just a great color. It does have this crossbody strap here. And then it also has the double like carrying handles. And then with Dooney and Burke, you always want to check to make sure they're authentic um, because there are a lot of fakes out there. And this one does have the little like Dooney and Burke tag on the inside with the like serial number on the bottom. So that's one thing I always look for with these. This one's in pretty good condition. There's a few like marks on the inside, but overall still really nice condition. Okay, next up I found another bag. This one is by Madewell. It's this brown like buttery soft leather like mini tote bag. Again, it has the crossbody and then the little carrying handles here. Um, you can see on the inside it just says made well. It does actually look pretty clean on the inside. Um, there's a little bit of wear on the corners of this bag, but I am going to just condition this leather and I think that will look a little better. And then of course, I'll just note that there are, you know, a few scratches and just point out any flaws when I do go to list it, but really it's still in pretty good condition. Definitely still usable and made well bags, especially their leather bags, uh, tend to do pretty well. So that's why I still went ahead and grabbed that one. Okay, next up, I just have a t-shirt here. This is just a Carhartt t-shirt. You guys know Carhartt. Carhartt stuff is just trending and really popular. Not only do a lot of people wear it to work in, um, but a lot of people just wear it because it's trendy right now. This is a men's size extra large, which is another reason I grabbed it. Just a t-shirt. I probably won't get much for this, maybe $15 to $18. But it is in really good condition and the actual price on this was only $1.99 um, which is why I went ahead and still grabbed this piece. Next up I have a jacket here. You guys know we're moving into jacket weather and jackets tend to just have a higher like resale value um, than you know a lot of your summer type clothing. So I love love picking up jackets. This is by Levi's. And it's just this really cute puffer jacket. It's got the red, white, and blue. And yeah, 
puffer jackets usually like the downfield or like the puffer style but jackets usually do really well for me i don't think this one is downfield though it's just let's see filling is just 100 100 polyester so but still really nice condition this one is a size medium i have another jacket here this is an nfl team apparel jacket size small. I do like picking up a lot of NFL um, or MLB, like baseball, um, just a lot of different sports. Team apparel tends to do really well for me. This one I grabbed because it is brand new with tags still. The original retail on this jacket was $90 um, and it we're moving into football season here soon. So this is just a San Francisco 49ers jacket. It's got the spell out on the back. Um, yeah, it just has a lot going on. So I think this will do well, especially on eBay. This one, um, like I said, is a, I think it's a women's size small. The last clothing item I picked up at this store is definitely, um, you know, we're moving out of swimsuit season, but like I said, you guys, I source all year round. It doesn't matter. Um, I'll pick up swimsuits in the winter. I'll pick up jackets in the summer. It doesn't really matter, but this is a good brand that I like selling in swimsuits. The brand is L Space. Uh, definitely one to keep an eye out for. It does pretty well for me over on Poshmark. Um, I also grabbed a swimsuit because it is a size large, so it's a really good size. So these are just the bikini bottoms here. They're like a ribbed orange fabric. And then it's just got the like triangle bikini top. I probably wouldn't have grabbed this if it was the separates, but since it was a full suit, I did go ahead and grab it and they're both a size large. Um, so I think this will still do well. Okay, so I got a couple of pairs of shoes from this thrift store, nothing crazy. It's mainly just bread and butter type shoes for me. Um, boots are selling really well right now. So I grabbed these, they're really cute. Little block heel booty by the brand Vince Camuto. If you guys can see that on the bottom. I do like selling Vince Camuto. I am pretty picky with style, but if it's a cute style and good condition, I can get it at the right price. I definitely will pick it up. Um, these are a women's size eight and the price they had on these was $7.99, but they are genuine leather, really cute style. All right, guys, this next pair of shoes is by Clark's. This is Clark's active line. You guys can maybe see in there it says Clark's Active. Don't sleep on Clark's, you guys. I know that you can probably walk into almost any thrift store and find a pair of Clark's. I am very picky with style and I'm also very picky with the price I'm willing to pay, but Clark's actually sell really well for me at the right price points. They don't sell for a ton, um, but just to give you guys an example, I sold a pair of Clark's this morning for full asking price on Poshmark. Somebody just bought them outright. Granted, they were brand new, never worn, but they sold for $45. I will pop that picture up on the screen just so you guys can see. But yeah, if it's a good style by Clark's, definitely like trendy in very good condition, I definitely will pick them up. I would say that on average with a used pair, you can get anywhere from $20 to $35. So definitely um, a brand that I think a lot of people pass over. Um, but there's definitely money to be made in Clark's. So I grabbed these because they're in such good condition. They look super comfortable. I've never sold any shoes from the Clark's activewear line. Um, these are also a women's size eight. And yeah, so I'm gonna test these out and see how they do. They had them also priced at $7.99. Okay, next up is a pair of Under Armour shoes. Just a good bread and butter brand for me. I love picking up Under Armour. Um, certain shoes by Under Armour can definitely sell for a much higher price point. I don't think this is one of those styles, but these are in really good condition, which is why I grabbed them. I still think these should probably sell around $30, maybe up to $40. I have to look up this style. These are women's size six and a half, and they're just a really cool like gray and gold colorway. And they had these ones priced at $9.99. This next shoe I could not pass on. You guys know I love selling kids shoes. Some kids shoes can actually sell as much as adult shoes. Um, this pair I don't think I'll get too much for, but I could not leave these behind. They are an adorable pair of baby champion sneakers. They have kind of that 90s old school vibe to them um, with this pink stripe on the side. 
so stinking cute. And of course they're in such good condition because I think uh, kids this age aren't walking very much. These are a size two and yeah, just super adorable. They have these priced at $3.99. I'll probably be able to get anywhere from 15, maybe 15 to $20 on these. So it'll still be a good sell um, and just really easy photos, but super, super cute. And the last pair of shoes I picked up from this Angel View store is this pair of Adidas. These are the Adidas Americana sneakers. They're just like a high top white. They're getting washed out. They're just a high top white sneaker. They're in really good condition. I'm just gonna wipe them down a little bit, but overall for being white, they're still very clean. They're also a good men's size. These are a men's size 10, which is a really you know popular size to sell. So I think these should do well. All right guys, so that was it from the Angel View thrift store. So now we're gonna move back to Goodwill, the first thrift store I went to. I did pick up a few bread and butter things from there as well. I, of course I got those designer pieces, but I did grab a few other things. Um, one of the first things I did grab is this pair of Keds. You guys know I like selling Keds. Again, they don't sell for a ton, but they usually sell fast and um, I usually can get anywhere from $20 to $30, somewhere in there, depending on the style. I prefer picking up the platform ones. The platform ones do really well for me, but I also pick up some that have a really fun pattern. And these ones just kind of reminded me of like Disney, of um, Minnie Mouse, I guess. So I'm probably going to use the keywords Minnie Mouse in my title and Disney and stuff just to advertise these. Um, and then I'll just say, you know, they have like Minnie Mouse or Disney vibes just because a lot of people are starting to go on vacations again. And I know people are going to Disneyland or Disney World. And um, yeah, there's a lot of Disney lovers out there. So I'm gonna use that as kind of a marketing tool for these. They are a women's size eight and a half and these are in amazing condition, which is another reason I grabbed them. They'll be quick and easy photos. And I think they were discounted. So they originally, let's see. Yeah, so they originally had these priced at $11.99, which I probably would not have paid that. Um, but they were the half off tag for the day. So I ended up only paying $5.98 for these, which is definitely not bad at all. So that is the only pair of shoes I picked up from that thrift store. Okay, next up, you guys may recognize this. I showed you guys a little sneak peek of this jacket. This is the Pretty Poisons um, River Riverdale, if you guys have seen that, that TV show. And it is a faux leather jacket. Comps on this jacket actually looked pretty decent. I'll try to find some and put some on the screen. This one's a size medium. It's in really good condition. And I think this jacket was actually on sale as well is another reason I grabbed it. So this was the 25% off tag. So they originally had this priced at $19.99, but after the discount, I paid $14.99 for this jacket. I think with Halloween coming up, um, I definitely need to get this listed right away. Um, or they're just, you know, people who are like super fans of the show may really like this. Um, so I still think it'll do really well. Okay, this next item is a brand that I pass on nine out of 10 times. I definitely don't pick this brand up as much as I used to. However, I did just sell a pair of shoes by this brand. Um, and I wanna say they sold around 40-ish dollars, if I remember correctly, um, just because the style was a really good style and um, the comps when I picked up that pair of shoes looked really good. So I did look up this dress and I, Decided to go ahead and grab it. Um, this is BCBG Max Azria. I could be butchering that name, um, but I also grabbed this dress because it was new with tags. So there's multiple reasons. It's new with tags. Uh, the retail price was $348. So this brand does retail for a lot, but the resale is not always great. Um, but also this was their half off tag. So they originally were asking $8.99 for this dress, but since it was the 50% off tag, I got this dress for $4.49. And then I also uh, looked up the style of this dress when I was in the thrift store and comps actually did not look bad. I think this is definitely a newer piece and a cute style that should do well around the holiday time. So it is like a 100% silk little mini dress but it has these wide ruffle sleeves it has some metallic like gold and silver throughout 
It has the ruffles on the front. Um, just a really cute, this would make a perfect holiday dress. You could wear it for Christmas. You could wear it for New Year's. Just a really cute style. The model picks looked really, really cute. Um, and I did see some good comps. So that's the only reason I grabbed this. Most of the time, I do leave this brand behind though. Next up, I have that free people dress that I wanted to give you guys a better look at. This is probably one of the prettiest free people dresses I have found. Um, I just think it is so beautiful. I did try to find a stock photo of this dress and I could not find one. So if any of you guys know the name of this dress, definitely let me know. Um, I'm trying to button the back here, but look at how gorgeous this is. So it is a lace like high neck dress. It has this beautiful beading and lace down the front. And then some of the front here is actually sheer. So the little triangles here are not, but then there is some sheer pieces, which I think is really pretty. And then it does have long sleeves. It has the lace on the sleeves. It is sheer all the way down kind of has like the balloon sleeve and then the little wrist cuff here um, has the lace on it as well. And then it's just a mini dress length, but the back is also gorgeous. So it does have this big cutout with kind of a low drop. So lower back there, just really, really pretty. I just think this is such a beautiful dress. It has so many just really pretty details with the lace and the beading. Um, and I did find this on that same new rack that they were bringing out with all the designer pieces. So I'm not sure if this was donated by the same person, but it's definitely a really pretty, really pretty dress. Okay, I have one more piece to show you before we get into the designer stuff. This is probably the one piece that I somewhat regret picking up from the day um, or that was somewhat of a mistake only because when I got home, I did notice a flaw on it. This is by the brand Soft Surroundings, which I haven't picked up this brand a whole lot recently. I actually pass on it most of the time. This is a brand that does better for me anyways on eBay. And actually, if you look up the comps or comparable solds for this exact piece, um, they're better on eBay than they are on Poshmark. So Soft Surroundings to me is more of an eBay brand, um, which is probably, I, I will probably cross list it because it definitely can sell on Poshmark. But if you look at comps for this exact piece, this like pullover sweater is selling around the $25 to $30 price range on eBay. But on Poshmark, it's typically selling around the $20 or even slightly under $20. So we'll see. I, I picked this up because it is a good brand. This is a really good size. It's a size extra large. We're also moving into the fall and winter season. So it's a good piece for that. It's a really pretty color. It has like this button kind of like cowl neck. And it's just like a tunic length. I think it does have, yeah, it has pockets in the front. So really pretty. But when I got home, I did notice there is a stain on the front right here, which I did not see in the thrift store. So I would have absolutely passed on this had I noticed that stain. Um, but now that I already have it, I am going to try to stain treat it and see if I can get that out. Hopefully I can because I really do... I really am hoping to sell this around that $25 to $30 price point. So we'll see what happens with this. Um, but yeah, I definitely would have passed on it had I saw that stain on the front. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get into the good stuff. Let's get into the designer pieces that I found. Like I said, I did do a little more research on these pieces, so I'll be able to give you guys a little bit more information um, on each of these. I did also do as much research as possible to kind of verify that all of these pieces are authentic. And from my knowledge and research, they are, they all appear to be authentic. Um, there is one piece, the one piece I'm most excited about, which I am saving for last. There's one piece in here that I do want to actually get authenticated. I may actually pay to have that piece authenticated just for peace of mind. But, um, yeah, I have, there's, there's nothing in here that uh, would make me believe any of these pieces are fake. Um, but the first piece 
This actually does not have the tag in the back of the shirt, so somebody cut that out. But luckily, um, because there was other designer pieces on this rack, I was looking really closely at all the pieces and I noticed right inside the eye of this t-shirt, it does say Kenzo Paris. So Ken Kenzo is a designer brand, as you guys may or may not know, but definitely one to keep an eye out for. This is just a basic t-shirt with the eye on the front. Um, I did look these up. They are still on their website. I think they are selling on their website for about $94. So not a ton of money, but $94 for one t-shirt. I mean, for a t-shirt is expensive in my opinion. Um, but yeah, so I did look at the tag down here and everything seems to match up all of the other ones I was finding, finding on the internet. So you can see it says Kenzo. It says made in Portugal, 100% cotton. Um, yeah, and it just appears to have all the correct markings and everything. So looking up resale value for this, the resale value on these t-shirts on Poshmark was kind of all over the place. There were some, there was one exactly like this that just recently sold for $60. And I'll show you guys that comp on the screen. Um, but there's also some, if you scroll down, of the same t-shirt in just different colors. There's some that sold as low as like $25, um, but a lot of them were selling in that $40 to $60 price range. So that's kind of what I'm gonna shoot for. For this one, it's anywhere in that $40 to $60 price range. They have this one only priced at $3.99. Okay, next on the list was a really exciting designer brand, designer brand find. Uh, this is Vediments, if I'm, saying that correctly. I'll put it up on the screen. Definitely has a much longer name to it here, but this is a very, very expensive designer brand that a lot of celebrities actually wear. I did find uh, photos of celebrities wearing this exact pair of jeans. I think the first one of the first ones that popped up was a picture of Selena Gomez wearing these jeans. So these jeans actually have a really high retail value. I did look them up and I believe it was $1,400 or $1,600 retail. Um, I'll put the number up on the screen. I can't remember exactly off the top of my head, but yeah, very high retail value and resell doesn't look too bad. I mean, the resale value looks pretty good. Let me go ahead and show you the jeans though. So they have like this raw distress like him across the front. They are supposed to be more of like a baggy, like boyfriend loose style fit. And then they have a raw him. They also have like this uneven cut him on the bottom. It is only on one side though. And when I looked up stock photos, um, I think the, the uneven hem was cut like that on both sides. So I may just have to note that. I'm not sure if somebody trimmed it or maybe they were just made to be, um, made to not match. I'm not really sure, but I will just notate that. And then the back actually looks like this. So it's got like pocket prints on it. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, a lot of celebrities have worn this pair of jeans. These ones are a size extra small. They were also made in Portugal and they're a mixture of cotton and polyester blend. So when I looked these up, I just have my notes down here. That's why I keep looking down. But when I looked these up, there's only one other pair listed on Poshmark right now that I could find in this exact style. There are other styles of jeans by this brand but in the same style and that person has them listed for $760, um, but they have not sold yet, but they have them listed at that price. So then I went and looked at the solds and it looks like jeans by this brand, just really any style because it was hard to just pinpoint this exact style, but any style were selling between $150 up to $400. So because I didn't actually see any selling in that $700 price range, um, like this person had the one pair listed at, I will probably still list on the high end because I think I will be the only person that has this style in this size. The other one listed was a size small, mine are a size extra small. So I will be the only one on Poshmark with this exact style of jeans. Um, by this brand. I still am going to shoot a little bit high, but I'll probably shoot more for that $400 price point to start with and then just see how they do from there. I would much rather 
start my listings high with these designer pieces and just see how much attention, how many likes, how many followers, how many watchers and stuff like that these get. I also want to cross list them just to see the popularity of each of these brands on the different sites that I sell on. And then from there, I can always lower the price but I would rather start a little high and just you know, try to get the best sale or the most um, profit I can out of each of these pieces, even if I have to let them sit for a little bit. Um, but because I did see jeans by this brand selling around that $400 price point, that's probably where, where I'll start with these and then just kind of go from there. Okay, up next is a brand that I was not familiar with, but again, as I'm going through this rack and I found some of these designer pieces, anything that looked interesting, I decided to go ahead and look up. Um, and these definitely have, you know, an interesting looking tag. It says Christopher Shannon. And then the back has this rubber piece on it that also says Christopher Shannon. You guys may be able to read it there. It's, it's white lettering on a white background. So it's kind of hard to read. But these definitely looked, you know, and felt expensive. So they do have a hidden button fly here. And they have these like patches on the side. And here's the back. So I wasn't sure if these are were men's or women's jeans. I did look this exact style up. It does say they're a size 28 and they look... I don't know, they look tapered, kind of like a women's jeans. However, when I looked this style up, I did find this exact pair of jeans on a model. I believe it was the 2017 Vogue runway. Um, and there was a male model wearing these exact jeans. I will insert that picture here so you guys can see. Um, so I'm not sure how I'm gonna list these. Um, I do need to do a little bit more research just to make sure that there's not like a women's version of this jean as well, but I think it's just a, I think this is just a men's clothing brand. When I looked it up, I just saw mainly men's clothing. You could see the Christopher Shannon there as well. Um, and this, this pair was really tricky. I did contemplate whether I should leave these or pick them up. It looks like this brand is very expensive, has a high retail value. Um, but it does not look like it's very well known here in the U.S. I think this is like an Italian designer or something like that. Um, I will put it up on the screen. I did, I looked all this stuff up and now I'm like blanking, but, um, yeah, it looks like this brand, these jeans were made in Portugal. Everything so far has been made in Portugal, but, uh, yeah, so it looks like this brand might be more popular in other areas, but not so much in the U.S. just because I couldn't find very much. I couldn't find very many comparable solds or anything to really go off of. So on Poshmark right now, um, I just filtered to this brand. There's only four items listed by this brand, Christopher Shannon, on Poshmark and none of the items are jeans. The prices range for the items that are listed, I'll just show you guys on the screen here, anywhere from 40 to $100. So then I decided to go over to eBay and check comparable solds on eBay. There are three pairs of jeans on eBay currently listed um, in this brand, and prices range anywhere from 40 up to $1,000. There is somebody who has a pair of pants, uh, jeans by this designer listed at $1,000 on there. Um, so then I went ahead and filtered to the sold listings on eBay and there are none, there are no solds for this brand in the last 90 days. So eBay only shows you the last 90 days worth of sales, but since there are very few listed, there's probably very few that have sold as well. So because of that, there's not a whole lot for me to go off of with these. I don't know how many people will be searching for these jeans um, or how many people are aware of this brand. I really, I really don't know, but because this is a higher end designer and I did find it with all this other designer stuff, I thought it would be worth at least picking them up. They only have these priced at $9.99. So I went ahead and took a chance on these. I am going to list them on eBay as well. I am going to list them uh, with international shipping because maybe they'll do better selling to an international buyer. Um, and again, I, I'm not sure how I will price these. I probably won't go too crazy, maybe around $150 or so to start and just see 
just see how they do. So um, this one was a little bit of a gamble, but hopefully it pays off. Okay, and then the last pair of jeans, this was actually the first item I found on this rack, which um, was the first item that got me really excited about, you know, possibly finding more stuff on here. This is a pair of Saint Laurent Paris. I don't know if you guys can read that there. It's like a leather tag that's kind of tacked on on both sides. And it's just a pair of black, either... I think these are mid, maybe mid to high rise, uh, skinny jeans. They do have the raw hem. And these ones are a size two. It has this little code on the inside there. Made in Italy, Saint Laurent Paris. And I looked these up. It looks like just black skinny jeans by this brand on Poshmark are selling anywhere in the $65, $65 range up to about $110. There are some that sold for over $110, but most of those were brand new, new with tags. So um, since this pair is pre-owned, I think I'm going to shoot somewhere around, I'll probably list them around 110 and then just kind of take a best offer. Hoping, I'm hoping to get anywhere, you know, from 75 plus for these. Um, initially, I probably won't take any offers less than that, but if they sit for a while and maybe able to maybe willing to negotiate a little bit lower, but I want to see how they do first. Okay, this next brand I was familiar with, so I was excited when I saw this tag. This is Acne Studios, and this is actually a men's shirt, so this is a size 44, which I will have to look at the size chart to see what that converts to. I found this exact shirt online. It's called the Pine Ombre button-up shirt. Um, it's just this really pretty green kind of like mini mini plaid button up shirt um so it is a button up but it does not have a collar which i think is really kind of nice and it needs to be steamed but overall it looks to be in really good condition no stains no holes no missing buttons i just need to steam it and yeah, so it does say the style name on here too. It's 100% cotton. So that's what the little inner care tag looks like. Hope it's gonna focus. So yeah, so I looked up this exact this exact shirt because I wanted to see if there were any of this exact style. There's one current active listing that has not sold yet. So somebody does have this shirt listed at $135 on Poshmark. And then there's only one sold listing that I could find. Um, and that one that sold, sold for $65. So um, because there's not a whole lot to go off of, you know, only one active and one sold, I probably, again, am going to price, I'll probably price a little bit under what the one active listing has, um, the 135, I'll probably price closer to like 115. And then again, just take a best offer and see how this one does. All right, guys, so now on to the most exciting piece that I found or the piece that I'm the most excited about. This is the one piece, I saved this piece to, for last because I do think it is the best piece out of all of them. This is the one piece that I may actually pay to get authenticated. Um, I did compare to other listings and to other solds and other jackets um, that I saw online. Everything appears to be authentic. The stitching, the quality, everything about this jacket looks right to me. The tag looks uh, the same. I compared the tag to other tags um, from this jacket that have sold. And there's nothing, there's no red flags that are popping up that would make me think this is not real. Plus I found it with all of this other designer stuff, which also all appears to be authentic. So I'm guessing this is authentic but um this but I may want to just go ahead and check just because I do want to try to sell this piece at a higher price point and I would just feel much better about selling this if I did know it was 
in fact 100% authentic and I also had paperwork to prove that it is authentic I think would also help the buyer feel better about paying more for this item so I may go ahead and do that but let me go ahead and show you the piece because I keep talking about it um, this is a bomber jacket that has these like dragons or actually they're peacocks are they dragons there's dragons and peacocks so there's like peacocks and dragons all over this jacket it is a zip up bomber jacket beautiful beautiful and it also is reversible so let me turn it inside out real quick So on the other side, it's just black, but it does have this spell out here. If you guys can see that, it says Supreme. So super excited. When I saw this on the rack, I was like, oh, this feels nice. This, this looks nice. I wonder what this is, but there was no you know, tag on the inside, but because it is reversible, they actually put the tag in the pocket. So I checked there. So always check the pockets or the inside of the, t of the, um, the inside of the jack of jackets, just to, if you're not finding a brand, it's usually in the pockets or the inside of the jacket. So don't skip a good quality jacket just because you can't find the brand, but there you have it. It says Supreme size medium. So when I saw that, I got super excited. It also has this little care tag here that says Supreme New York city. Uh, dry clean only and yeah it just has some information on there so I did look up this exact style when I was in the thrift store just to make sure there's actually a supreme jacket that looks like this and this is called the emperor emperor jacket um, they do make this jacket in I think three different colors so they make it in the black a blue and a red color so currently right now there's only one listed on Poshmark that I could find um, this is a men's jacket. There's only one listed in the navy or the blue colorway, and they have theirs listed at $530. There's one sold, so I can only find one sold of this jacket, uh, which sold for $216 on Poshmark. So since there was not a ton of information there, I went over to eBay. And on eBay, I could I found none listed, but there was one that sold within the last 90 days. I think it sold in July and that one sold on a best offer. So they, the seller had their, the jacket listed at $399 and 99 cents. So basically at $400 and then they took a best offer. So when that happens, it doesn't actually say on the sold listing, the offer they accepted, but I'm guessing because they were asking around $400 for it, they probably sold the jacket within the $300 price range. I wouldn't imagine they would take an offer any less than $300 if they had it listed that high. But again, since I couldn't find very much information on Poshmark or eBay with this jacket, I did just kind of search the web for more. And I did find multiple of these jackets that have sold on Grailed, which is another uh, secondhand selling site. I actually don't sell on Grailed, but I went ahead and looked at these listings anyways, just to see what they were selling for on this site. And I found one that sold for $400 pre-owned, one that sold for $550 pre-owned, and another one that sold for $480 pre-owned. And then I also found one on the Real Real, which I also don't sell on the Real Real or send anything into the Real Real. I've never done that. Um, I know a lot of resellers utilize the Real Real. Um, I just prefer to sell things on my own. But uh, there was one on there that sold for $395. So just with the information I was able to gather just off of all the solds from different marketplaces, it looks like this jacket is consistently selling in like the, the high $300 to just under $500 price range. That seems to be like a consistent price for this pre-owned. Um, so I'm probably going to start a little bit high just because there aren't very many or any um, active listings for this jacket anywhere. So I think I'm going to list mine around $450. That is um, under the conditions that this is actually authentic. Like I said, I do want to make sure that I get this authenticated before I ask a price like that for a piece like this. I 
obviously cannot sell anything that is not authentic. So if it's not authentic, then I may just keep it or gift it to somebody. But I have really high hopes for this piece. I do, I do think it's authentic, but again, I really want to be sure I don't want to sell something for that much and um, and it not be authentic. So we will see on this piece, you guys. I definitely will report back to you guys on some of these designer pieces. I'll let you guys know how well they sold for me. Um, and then also I will keep you guys updated on the Supreme Bomber Jacket as well. If you guys are interested in that, you guys can also follow me on my Instagram. I do post a lot of my sales and just updates kind of, um, you know, fun finds that I have, fun thrift store finds, and just some good flips that I have. I share a lot of that information on my Instagram. I'm also thrifty mom of two over there. I will leave a link to my Instagram down below. I'll also leave a link to all of my stores down below so you guys can check those out as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will have many more thrifting and reseller related videos. So if you do enjoy reseller related content, make sure you subscribe down below. Also, please give this video a thumbs up on your way out. It really helps me out here on YouTube. I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.